What's up guys, it's Paul from Non Apple Fan here and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about the GTX 780. I got one, I got one, I know, it's funny, I got one. But I bought one because I watched a video from uh, Hardware Unboxed and he said that um, the GTX 780, oh how the mighty have fallen or something like that along the lines of that. And uh, I, w I watched across the board and it was saying it was slower than a 1050 ti or it was just slightly faster and it was um pulling more power and all that jazz now i looked at it and i saw that as value because i then looked at the price of gtx 780s and they were 100 quid and i was like a gtx 1050 ti is going for like 170 to 200 and I so in my head I'm like what the fuck is he talking about like how can he say that this is bad value now I could be wrong but for me if a card is cheaper and faster I know it pulls a hell of a lot more power but if it's a lot, still significantly faster and cheaper and you can get it on the loose market for cheaper for me, that's that's a no-brainer. So, uh, I bought, I picked one up just as expecting 1050 Ti performance, um, but I ended up comparing it to this. Now, bear in mind, I only have a 1050, so I wouldn't have been able to really do comparisons. But I ended up comparing it to this. I ended up comparing it to my RX 480. Now, you might think that sounds crazy, right? You might think that sounds absolutely bananas, right? But Hardware unboxed in Overclock's graphics card, as far as I know. I think he's checked everything, tested everything in stock, and I think he might have had a reference one. I don't know. I, I have to go back and watch the video just to make sure. I don't want to put words in the guy's mouth. I don't want to say that he didn't have that. But for me, this thing, all right, is about 35 to 40% faster than the 1050 Ti, really. Probably even more. And um, this thing is like... If you imagine the R9 290X, basically, there's no difference. Like, this is faster in some games, the R9 290X is faster in other games. Uh, but with the new driver revisions, it kind of got a bit faster. Memory compression got a bit better. Uh, if you overclock it, it, it goes faster. So the R9 290X is maybe 5 to 10% slower than this. So it just got me thinking when I was sitting there and I put it in my system. I put the, the GTX 780 in my system for the first time last night. I came home from work and I got it on the way home from work. And I was so excited to test it. And I was hoping to get a video out last night. And I got home and I put it in my system. And I, I'd already done all of my benchmarks for the for the rx 480 before i put it in which took about three hours by the way so i was really excited to put this in because i just wanted to see where it kind of hit and if you know my benchmarking strategy you know that i go for starcraft 2 because people play league of legends dota all that stuff and i think starcraft 2 if you can play starcraft 2 you can play all the other games because i run a benchmark where i have a set army on both sides and they're about to attack each other and then i just let it run for 60 seconds and i do that a couple of times and we see what happens uh then i run uh pubg because it's a horribly optimized game and um if I, if a car can run that it can run anything basically and then i run um uh csgo for uh competitive multiplayer now i have started benching out my branching out my benchmarks to include the likes of uh fortnite and a couple of other games but you won't see them in these benchmarks because i think just that's my variety of benchmarks i did do some synthetic benchmarks as well and um i Look, I was, I was, I was, been, but the minute I sat in StarCraft 2, which StarCraft, the reason why I picked StarCraft 2 is I pick games that I'm familiar with because you want, you don't want to pick a benchmark. You want to just play the game and, and, and see how it actually performs in a game. A benchmark gives you a feel, but it doesn't really give you the real meat and potatoes. So I was, I sat down and I, 
if you know StarCraft, you can hover your mouse over the menu button, menu item, and it just gives you the frame counter. And I, I do that sometimes in StarCraft. I feel it's like a little bit laggy, or feel there's something wrong. I'll just look at the frame counter really fast, and and I kind of get a general because I've been playing StarCraft two for so long. On this card, I kind of have a feel for how it performs. So when I was playing StarCraft two last night, just to get a feel for this card and make sure everything was working fine, and we were getting no artifacting because remember I bought a second hand card and I'd taken off the thermal paste and the cooler and all that stuff, and I'd reapplied thermal paste. So I wanted to make sure that the card wasn't broken, right? Because, oh my God, how many times does that happen, people? They buy a card online, think they're doing great, think they got a deal, and they come home, and it just starts artifacting all over the place. Uh, so you, you can kind of get into Windows. It looks fine. You might be in your man's house, and you oh, yeah, and he might know a game that doesn't artifact, and he'll show it to you, and you get it home, and yeah. So I was running StarCraft 2, and I just put my, my finger down, and I moved down over the menu, and I saw 180 frames a second. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I like, I knew it would do 60 frames a second. I, and I play every, every one of my games at 1440p. If you haven't seen my monitor, it's a 32 inch 1440p monitor. So when I seen that, I got a little bit like excited. I was like, ooh. Now, I hadn't done anything to the card at that point. I hadn't overclocked it. I hadn't done anything to make it faster. I hadn't tweaked it in any way, shape or form. All I had done was put it into my system, put the two power connectors in, uninstalled all the Invid all the RX four eighty drivers, using that. Uh, what's it called? Hold on, I'll find the name of it. A uh, Guru three D uh, uninstalled driver thingy, and it, I just removed all of the drivers and banged it in, and one hundred and eighty frames a second in in a stack or two. Like oh, what the. F and um, so that was like when I was like, okay, right, we've got to benchmark this now. Left that, got uh, MSI Afterburner up, got um, the games out, got Fraps running, got Unigen Heaven installed. Well, I already had it installed because I'd already done the RX 480. Got it open, got Fire Strike open, and I just went ham till like four o'clock in the morning last night and i didn't have time to make this video now so that's why i'm making it now so you'll have to forgive me if i forget things but this was a huge undertaking to make to, to make sure that i didn't make balls of things because this i'm telling you this is actually surprising you know, i want to talk about this at the gtx 780 gtx 780 came out with like a 750 megahertz or so boost clock and mine is doing 1250 no overclocking it doesn't overclock it does 1250 i try and raise the millivolts i try and put the power slider up i try and touch the core and it just goes no unit in heaven shuts down no fire strike shuts down but if i just move the millivolts all the way up move the power slider all the way up and press start it goes from 1100 from from 1070 megahertz to 1250 megahertz like that Shoom. i do nothing it just does that itself and it stays rock solid at 1250 megahertz and then i went to mess with the ram because i heard the ram is really good on these and i was disappointed with the ram because i only got 200 megahertz on the ram that's 200 megahertz that's 100 megahertz offset by the way that's not like uh 200 megahertz which is actually 400 megahertz no this was i put 100 megahertz in and it worked i put 101 megahertz in and it would run half a benchmark and then it was go ah and you'd have to restart your computer so it didn't like anything with the memory i don't know why because I heard that the memory is great. I heard people getting like 7,300 megahertz on the memory. I was like, give me that. But no, I couldn't get that. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to show you my benchmarks. Uh, believe it if you don't want. It, believe it if you want to believe it. Don't believe it if you don't want to believe it. But you're going to be blown away. Uh, is it a fa I'm going to tell you right now. Is it a faster card than this? No. But, uh, like, this is, this is a much newer card with a six pin connector bear in mind that bear in that mind this is a six pin connector and remember that back in the day before you don't believe any of this stuff right back in the day 
the GTX 780 with an overclock was beating the R9 290X. Uh, factory for factory, they were the same. But out of the day, back back in the day, the R9 290X was getting beaten by the GTX 780. So before anybody calls calls horse shit on that, remember that. Remember that, right? I don't like saying nice things about Nvidia. Remember, I really don't like saying nice things about Nvidia because they're dickheads. But in this case, this card today at a hundred quid, if you could pick one up, you're fucking crazy not to. I'm telling you you're crazy not to. Here we go, right? And going into the benchmarks. So if you see this, look, look at this. This is um this is StarCraft 2. It's faster in StarCraft 2. The, the GTX 780. Here's the fire strike score. Look what's in the fire strike score. A thousand points. A thousand points is all that's in the fire strike fire strike fire strike score. Uh like look at the um the PUBG score. This is clearly explainable because I run all my benchmarks at 1440p. If you're a guy who runs them at 1080p, I guarantee you this lead will evaporate because this has a tr this is a three gigabyte card, the GTX 7 780. That's an eight gigabyte card. So no problem running uh, PUBG for 1080p. And this is maximum balls to the wall, everything on. I run everything on because I don't want any variance and I don't want to spend hours trying to make sure I know what settings. No, I just put everything to the absolute max except for motion blur and V-Sync. And, and like this is, that's, that's, that's it. So you could, you could probably lower the, the, the settings a little bit and you're away in a hack, 40, 50 frames a second with a GTX 780 in PUBG, PUBG today. That is crazy. That's CSGO. It's faster in CSGO. Look at that. Faster in CSGO. And uh, like I done all these benchmarks 15 times, I'd say. That's why I was up so late. I couldn't I, cu I couldn't I cu I couldn't go on YouTube and say this is my results because I was terrified of what people would say in the comments. Do you know I don't give a fuck. This is what this is the comments like this is the this is the um what you call it, the benchmarks I got, and I'm showing you them, it's the Unigen Heaven score, Unigen Heaven, I did nothing, I didn't mess with it, I didn't touch it, I just let it run, I didn't take any settings, stock settings, as it comes out of box, make sure my resolution is 1440p, that is all I did, and here we go, 2600, running at 4, 4 gigahertz, that's my test bench, by the way, a Ryzen, 20, uh, Ryzen 5, 2600, 4.2 gigahertz, uh, 16 gigabytes of Corsair, uh, Vengeance LPX 3000 megahertz uh, and uh, Aorus uh, X370 motherboard gigabyte Aorus X370 motherboard so yeah and here you go look look at that like it, it, it is absolutely rubbing its balls all over the forehead of the RX480 in this benchmark it like I, I ran it five or six times I, I really thought that was really low for an RX uh 4a but then i remembered i'm running it in 1440p you have to remember this 1440p is, is double as demanding as 1080p so that like 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 i don't care what anybody thinks i don't care if people think i'm fudging numbers i don't care if you want to call me an nvidia fanboy i am not an nvidia fanboy i'm a massive 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 fan of value and this i just can't i can't i can't with a good conscience say that you can get there's like eight of them in Ireland. If there's eight of them in Ireland, there's gonna be about fucking five hundred of them, a thousand of them in in the US. Like, go buy yourself a deal. Go get yourself a deal, lads. I was looking on eBay today as well. There's loads of them on eBay because I'm looking for a second one. I had a guy promise me, promise me a second one, and he just stopped writing back to me, and he hasn't sold it anywhere else. So I don't, and he hasn't been online. So I don't know where he's been on holidays or not. But I had a guy promise me one for 100 quid. So I'm hoping he comes back from holidays or wherever he's been. He's been missing MIA since yesterday. So hopefully he comes back. Uh, he's been off somewhere and he um, sells me a card. That's what I want. I want two of them and I want to do a video on them. Uh, and I have saved all my GTX, 7, GTX uh, 1070 benchmarks. So we will be running it against a GTX 1070 but yeah, regards to this card, this card is still a m magnificent card. I don't want you to think that I'm saying that it's faster than this card. It's not. This card is faster, right? It just is. And it, it, uh, as I said before, it has a six pin connector. Six pin. It can draw a maximum of 75 watts through the six pin, a maximum of about let's be honest 100 watts from uh, so 175 watts probably the maximum this card can draw it it, it says it only draws 75 from the p uh, from the from the um 
PCI Express connector, we all know that it's way more. But anyway, uh, yeah, that card is really fast. That is all you need to game today in the modern world. The problem with this card right now is that uh, for me, this card should be around the price that I paid for this now because it's so old. It's like, well, let's be fair and say because the RX 580 was released last year it's a, and they're about the same card you can buy a flash that and get it to run at same sentence let's just say for argument's sake that that is a year old that is for almost five years old you know that was a top tier card this is a mid tier card but if you get if you get mid tier performance today because the generations are so long we haven't seen anything it means that a gtx 780 is a good buy at 100 quid in 2018 i never thought i'd say that but it is it's cooler it's quieter than the the, the reference rx 480 um but it's just almost as fast and Anybody who tells you it's not almost as fast. The only time I can see this game running and this card running into issues is when with really, really modern titles, which are particularly well boxed off for AMD hardware. That was where that's where it would really struggle. I'd say. So like in Doom and Vulcan, it would get its ass kicked. It would not even be at the par at the races. Like, but in 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 uh, OpenGL much muchness uh directx 11 if your game runs directx 11 this card has the same horsepower as an rx 480 almost uh if you're running high resolutions i game on high resolutions one card it seems to be three gigabytes of ram doesn't seem to be a problem which is crazy to say that in 2018 when you've got lots of cards with eight gigabytes of ram and you've got your gtx 780 uh 1080s and 1070s and rx for uh rx 480s and 580s with, with 8 gigabytes of ram and you you can run a card with 10 with 3 gigabytes of ram and still hit 1440p and the only bottleneck i seen was in pubg and that is an absolute clusterfuck that game is a dumpster fire is what that is of optimization even today with all the work they've done that's what it is look this has been my review uh like it if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it uh, uh do you know what right i'm an amd man and i'm a really really big amd man but i know when i say anything positive about nvidia i'm just gonna get a lot of people going you're a fucking dickhead right and call me a dickhead all you want but the fact of the matter is i ran the benchmarks and i put this in the computer and when i put it into my computer i was like <laughs> probably staying in there and uh like my computer is green it's nice to have an nvidia card in there i think uh but remember i didn't give my money to nvidia i bought it off somebody else so remember that when you're judging me i didn't actually give my money to those gpp whoring bastards i just bought it gave it to somebody some bloke who did give his money to, to gpp whoring bastards and um yeah this is still a fantastic buy the issue with it is I got mine for 180. You can't get them for less than 2 250. Probably now 250. So I could put that up for 250 now and make money. That's the that that is the 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 air we live in. I bought an R9 290X f 3 years ago I want to say. And I sold it about 6 months ago. Nah, probably 8 months ago. I sold it for more for more than double what i paid for it that is the air we live in that's why when you look at something like this i'm chuffed it's a hundred quid and it's close it's close it's close in some games it's faster in a lot of games it's slower but when it's slower it's very very it's a very very small margin the only margin where it's really slower is in pubg and that's because pubg needs loads of vram pubg likes a lot of everything and that's it. So, yeah, as I said, like it if you like to dislike it, if you dislike that. And in the comments, tell me whether you agree with this. Tell me whether you, you, you actually think this is... And I remember well, the one that I got was the Gigahertz Edition, which is a very, very fast GTX 780. That's all I'm going to say. Full disclaimer. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, lads. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and all that jazz. And uh, I'm gonna hit this button to stop recording. It didn't stop recording.